Today's comparison test is a family feud. The rebellious little brother up against the established big guy in the family. And to tell you the truth, the Mercedes E-Class is actually becoming a greater threat to its largest sibling as its dimensions and styling get to be more and more like those of the S-Class. Each of the Benz brothers is powered by the same engine, a 3.2-litre common rail diesel with six cylinders. You then ask yourself, why does it always have to be an S-Class? Perhaps due to its elegant appearance or its perfect attention to detail. No question about it, in the S-Class the occupants are treated to an ultimate feeling of luxury, with a bit more of everything than necessary. That's especially true of its interior. Grandeur exudes from every single pore. Here you do not take your place in ordinary seats, but upon a throne of leather looking down upon other average beings. Nothing average about the E-Class, that's for sure. Still, the luxury of the S-Class is something the E320 just can't match. The friendly, four-eyed face is how you recognize the little brother. On the inside, you very quickly note you're not in first class, but in business. The reason? Not only the short list of standard features, but also eight centimeters less space, which still offers sufficient knee room for backseat passengers. The trunk, on the other hand, is surprisingly large. Larger, in fact, than in the S-Class. Once in motion, it's a whole different story. The common rail diesel with its 500 Newton meters of torque makes the E-Class an especially spirited car. While the E320 may not be a race car, it almost acts like one. You get a sportier drive out of it than with the S320. But you do have to make some sacrifices in terms of comfort. The E320 has a good suspension, but when the road gets bumpy, you clearly notice the difference. With its air suspension, the S-Class literally glides its passengers over any surface irregularities. You'll definitely notice that the engine has 100 kilograms of extra weight to handle, and you'll miss the driving dynamics of the E320. It's obvious that the E320 accelerates better than its bigger brother. In 7.5 seconds, the needle reaches 100, only slightly before the S-Class. Thanks to its smaller dimensions and stiffer tuning, the E-Class impresses with a high degree of agility. Its steering is neutral, direct and spontaneous. That's not exactly the forte of the S-Class, as you can well imagine. For a car more than five meters in length, it still does a pretty good job. All in all, the S-Class is the more comfortable of the two, with a superior amount of space. The E320 drives better, has a bigger trunk and is more agile. After summing up all the features, the S320 CDI is a tad bit better, but you get more for your money with an E320.